In this presentation, we will discuss some problems related to closure of relations. So let's get started. Here is problem 1. Find the smallest relation containing the relation, this particular relation, let's say this relation is R and this relation is defined on set A which consists of all these elements and we are interested in finding the smallest relation that is both reflexive and transitive. Okay. In other words, we are interested in finding the reflexive closure of this particular relation and transitive closure of this particular relation. Why is that so? Because we are interested in finding the smallest relation containing this relation that is both reflexive and transitive. Right? So first we will find the reflexive closure of this relation and then transitive closure of this relation and then we will take the union of reflexive closure and transitive closure of this relation. This will give us the smallest relation containing this relation which is both reflexive and transitive. Right? Let's just find out the reflexive closure of this relation. RR plus is nothing but R union with set of all ordered pairs A comma A such that A belong to set A. Right? And this is how RR plus looks like. First we will write relation R. 1, 2, 1, 4, 3, 3, 4, 1. Then, then we will take the union of this relation with this relation. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. The result of union will look like this. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4, 4. This is reflexive closure of this particular relation. Right? After this, we are interested in finding the transitive closure of this particular relation. Let's just find out the transitive closure of this relation. For this, we will use Warshall's algorithm because we know that Warshall's algorithm is quite an efficient algorithm in finding the transitive closure of a particular relation. Okay? I have rewritten relation R over here which consists of these ordered pairs 1, 2, 1, 4, 3, 3, 4, 1. First, we have to represent this relation in matrix form. Here, in this matrix, we will place 1 in 1, 2. Then we will place 1 in 1, 4. In 3, 3 position, we also have to place 1. And in 4, 1 also, we have to place 1. And in the rest of the positions, we will place 0. Right? This is how the matrix looks like. After this, we have to apply all these steps one by one. And number of steps in Warshall algorithm always depends on number of elements in a particular set on which the relation is defined. Here, this relation is defined on set A, which consists of four elements. Therefore, there are four steps required in order to find the transitive closure of this particular relation. Let's consider step one. In step one, we have to consider column one and row one of this matrix. And you can see that in column 1, we have 1 over here in this particular position, which is position 4. So, we will write 4 over here. And in row 1, we have 1 in this position and 1 in this position, that is in position 2 and in position 4. Therefore, we will write 2, 4 over here, right? So, C1 is nothing but equal to 4 and R1 is equal to 2, 4, right? Now, we have to take the cross product of C1 and R1 and this is how it looks like. 4, 2. 4, 4. Right? So, in position 4, 2, we have to place 1. And in position 4, 4, also, we have to place 1. Right? And rest of the elements, we will simply write them down over here. That is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Fine? This is our new matrix. Right? Now, we will apply step 2. In step 2, we have to consider column 2 of this new matrix, okay? And row 2 of this matrix, fine? In column 2, you can see that 1 is placed in position 1 and in position 4. Therefore, we'll write 1, 4 over here. And in row 2, you can see there are no 1s present. Therefore, R2 is nothing but 5. And eventually, C2 cross R2 is nothing but 5, right? Let's consider step 3. In step 3, we have to consider column 3 and row 3. Let's consider this column 3 and row 3. You can see in column 3, we have 1 in position 3. And in row 3 also, we have 1 in position 3. So, we'll write 3 over here as well as 3 over here. So, C3 is nothing but 3 and R3 is also 3. Therefore, C3 cross R3 is nothing but 3, 3. And in position 3, 3, we already have 1. Therefore, there is no need to create a new matrix. Right? Now, let's discuss step 4. In step 4, we have to consider column 4 and row 4. Let's consider column 4 and row 4. In column 4, you can see that 1 is placed in position 1 and position 4. So, we'll write 1 and 4 over here. In row 4, 
one is present in this position this position and this position that is position 1 2 and 4 so we'll write 1 to 4 over here now we have to take the cross product of c4 and r4 so c4 cross r4 is nothing but 1 1 1 2 1 4 4 1 4 2 4 right now let me just create this new matrix in position 1 1 i have to place 1 in position 1 2 also have to place 1 in position 1 4 i also have to place 1 then in 4 1 4 2 and finally 4 4 here we will have all zeros and here in this position also we have zero here we have 0 0 1 0 0 and here we will place zero so this is our new matrix that is rt plus okay there are four steps required in order to find the transitive closure of relation r all the four steps are now finished and this is how our rt plus looks like So R T plus is nothing but one 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 two one four three three four one four two four four. This is R T plus. Now we have both R T plus and R R plus. We have R T plus, which is one 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 two one four three three four one four two four four, and we have R R plus, which is one 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 two one four two two three three four one four four. Right now we have to take the union of R R plus and R T plus. And this is R R plus union R T plus one 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 two one four two two three three four one four two four four. This is the smallest relation possible, which contains R and is also reflexive and transitive. Okay. Now let's discuss problem two. Find the transitive closure of relation R, which consists of these ordered pairs A comma C, B comma D, C comma A, D comma B, E comma D. and this relation is defined on set a which consists of these elements a b c d e there are five elements in this particular set and this is relation r we have to find the transitive closure of this particular relation okay for simplicity let's say a is 1 b is 2 c is 3 d is 4 and e is 5 okay there is no problem in replacing a by 1 b by 2 c by 3 d by 4 and e by 5 so let me just replace them Here, after replacement, set A will look like this: one, two, three, four, five. Similarly, relation R will hold these ordered pairs. That is, one, three, two, four, three, one, four, two, five, four. Simple, right? Now, in order to find the transitive closure of this relation, again we will use Warshall's algorithm. First, we will represent this R in matrix form. Here, in position one, three, we have to place one. In position two, four, we have to place one. In position three one also we have to place one, position four two also we have to place one, and position five four also we have to place one, and in rest of the positions we have to place zero. Okay, so this is our matrix, right? Now let's consider step one. Now we know that according to Warshall's algorithm, number of steps depends on the number of elements of this particular set. You can see there are five elements in this set. Therefore, five steps are required in order to find the transitive closure of this particular relation R. Right? Let's consider step one. In step one, we have to consider column one and row one. Right? In column one, you can see one is present in this position, that is position three, and in row one. One is present in this position three. Therefore, C one is three and R three is also three. C one cross R one is nothing but three comma three, right? So the new matrix will look like this. We have to write zero zero one zero zero, and then here also I have to write zero 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 one zero, similar to this matrix, right? Here I have to write one zero, and in three three also I have to write one. Here we have to replace this zero by one. That's it. Rest of the elements are similar to this matrix: zero, one, zero, 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 then zero, 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 one, zero. Right? So this is our new matrix. Now let's consider step two. In step two, we have to consider column two of this new matrix and row two of this new matrix. Right? In column two, you can see one is present in position four, and in row two, you can see one is present in position four. Therefore, C two is nothing but four, and R two is also four. C two cross R two is four comma four. So here, in four four, we have to place one. That means we have to replace this zero by one. 
let me just rewrite this once again 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 here in 4 4 we have to place 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 okay so this is our new matrix now let's consider step 3 in step 3 we have to consider column 3 and row 3 of this matrix in column 3 you can see we have 1 in position 1 and in position 3 therefore c3 is nothing but 1 comma 3 and in row 3 you can see that 1 is present in position 1 and in position 3 again this is also 1 3 so c3 cross r3 is nothing but 1 1 1 3 3 1 3 3 right now let's create our new matrix in position 1 1 we have to write 1 in position 1 3 also we have to write 1 in 3 1 also we have to write 1 and in 3 3 also we have to write 1 rest of the elements are similar to this matrix this is how our new matrix looks like isn't that so? In position 1, 1, we have placed 1 over here. Therefore, this 0 is replaced by 1. In position 1, 3, we have to place 1. 1 is already present. In position 3, 1, we have to place 1. 1 is already present over here. And in position 3, 3 also, we have to place 1. 1 is already present over here. So here, we just have to replace this 0 by 1. And rest of the elements are similar to this matrix. Now, let's consider step 4. In step 4, we have to consider column 4 and row 4 of this matrix. Right? You can see that in column 4, 1 is present in position 2, 4 and 5. So C4 is nothing but 2, 4, 5. And R4 is nothing but 2 and 4. Let's take the cross product of C4 and R4. This is how it looks like. 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 2, 4, 4, 5, 2, 5, 4. Right? Let's just create the new matrix. In position 2, 2 we will place 1. Then in 2, 4 also we will place 1. In 4, 2 we will place 1. 4, 4 we will place 1. 5, 2 we will place 1 and 5, 4 we will place 1. Rest of the elements are similar to this matrix. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Then we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Then we have 0 over here. We have 1 already available here. We have 0 in this position. So let's write 0 over here then 0 over here, then 0 here, we have to replace the 0 by 1 and here I have placed 1, right? After this we have 0 and finally we have one more 0. This is how our new matrix looks like, right? In step 5, we have to consider column 5 of this matrix and row 5. That is this column and this row. You can see that C5 is 5, right? And in R5, you can see that 1 is present in position 2 and position 4. So, we'll write 2, 4 here. We know that C5 cross R5 is nothing but 5. Because C5 is 5, right? Now, all these steps are finished. Therefore, this matrix is nothing but RT plus, right? And RT plus is nothing but 1, 1, 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 4, 3, 1, 3, 3, 4, 2, 4, 4, 5, 2, 5, 4. These are all the ordered pairs of RT plus, okay? And let me just replace 1 by A, 2 by B, 3 by C, 4 by D, and 5 by E. And this is how it looks like. A, 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 C, B, 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 D, C, A, C, C, D, B, D, D, E, B, E, D. These are all the ordered pairs of RT plus. That's it. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.